From a horrible season that saw them finish outside the play-in tournament to the disastrous way the Kyrie Irving trade has played out, the Dallas Mavericks are in big trouble. Let's see why. First up, quick look at the Western Conference standings will tell you all you need to know. The Mavericks were disgusting this season. After what was a sensational carry job from Luka Doncic, up until the trade deadline that is, the Mavs just fell apart after the deadline. And the results were so awful that they didn't even finish in the top 10. Yes, there were many issues with squad depth and poor performances, not to mention the complete lack of defense too. But it's such a head-scratcher to witness the way in which the side couldn't even hold on to a play-in spot. Their fans were rightly incensed because every single plan was wrong. After a promising playoff run last season, they expected their team to build on it. Instead, what they got was pure mediocrity. We call it the wild, wild west for a reason. Take a look at the western standings and who is on the outside looking in. The Dallas Mavericks currently sitting at 11th and not even in the play-in tournament and moments ago. The Mavs finished the season with a 2-8 run, finishing two full games behind the Oklahoma City Thunder, a team that wasn't expected to make the play-in tournament, at least not ahead of Dallas. For many, it's a missed opportunity for the Mavericks, because even with the poor squad planning, there was a lot of hope from this season, and it's fair to say that it hasn't gone their way. Not to mention, there are also concerns over the way this season could have a long-term impact on Luka Doncic. That's because the franchise is wasting away his potential. Honestly, I don't agree. Neither do the majority of NBA fans. They know what Doncic did throughout his season was unreal and unheard of. If not for his injuries towards the end of the season, Luka would have finished the campaign as the leading scorer. Jaden Hardy. And the step back over Hayward and Luka drains it. Third year in the league, he had two years with Oklahoma City. Maladone on a two-way contract now. Luka another layup. Despite not playing the majority of the last few games at his best, Doncic finished only 0.2 points behind Joel Embiid in the ranking. It was a genuine all-time season by one of the best talent imports in NBA history. Yes, there's absolutely nothing to show for it. 38 to 88. Think about it for a minute. This is nuts. We know that Doncic has the potential to be one of the best players in the history of the sport. But even for Luka, it's not going to be normal to come up with such numbers. That's why fans can't wrap their head around the fact that he got no help from the front office. He kept putting in those sensational performances night in and night out. And then when they did make a trade, they only ended up weakening the squad a lot more defensively. For fans, the worst part about all this is the fact that there's little to no accountability. And they got incredibly lucky with that Trey Young Luka Doncic swap. Uh, I didn't like that decision. That's it. But when talent like Doncic just falls into your lap, you can't just sit around and not do anything to further improve your chances. Because he's not going to be okay with the mentality the franchise has shown this season. And there are also rumors hinting at a possible departure for the Slovenian. Is anyone really surprised? For sure. I mean, last year, uh, when we went to Western Conference Finals, we were having fun. Uh, you know, the chem I always talk about the chemistry we had. It was great. Uh, but something's got to change for sure. Luca has always been a winner. From dominating European basketball to winning Olympic gold, he doesn't waste his time only playing games. He wants to win. If the Mavericks stop showing ambition and keep carrying on like they did this season, it wouldn't and shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone if Luca demands a trade in a year or so. He'll stick around this summer for sure, but the Mavericks shouldn't try and tempt fate because as much as he loves the city and the franchise, ultimately, he knows that to become the best, he's going to need that ring. And that's only happening if he moves elsewhere. That will be one of the biggest fumbles of all time if the Mavs end up losing Doncic. Luka drives inside, flips it up and in. Mihailuk chased Luka off the line and a giant killer. Luka for the lead, finally! So, for the sake of their fans and with what's at stake in terms of building an era of dominance, it would be utterly wasteful and bizarre of the Mavericks to not surround the El Matador with the right pieces. But right now, the Mavericks are in big trouble because forget adding more talent to the squad, they can't even hold on to the ones they have. Yeah, I'm sure you must have heard the Kyrie Irving news. Well, he was always going to be a free agent in the summer, but with the way the season has panned out, I won't be surprised if the Mavericks are unable to re-sign Kyrie over the summer. Now, I know some would say that it's good riddance and that Dallas actually got worse after adding Irving to their squad, but that's not exactly true, is it? He's not the reason the Mavericks have no defense. He did what he was brought in to do. Sixth in the West, that is obviously his Irving drives inside, shot is good. Dallas jump shot Kyrie Irving. Uh, 20 here in 
inside Los Angeles. Irving drives and finishes. Kyrie brought his Brooklyn Nets form to Dallas, averaging 27 points per night and putting in some big game displays like his 41-point performance in the must-win against the Hawks. If anything, the Mavs should try their best to keep a hold of Irving and Doncic, and then add to those two, improving the team further. That said, one of the best players on the Mavs roster this season, Christian Wood, is also expected to depart. It just feels that a mini-rebuild could be on the cards. All I know is, Luka's not going to be impressed unless the Mavs show ambition and make some big moves over the summer. He's already said that something's got to change. Uh, Reeves at six foot seven. Oh, nice. Great pass by Wood underneath to Bullock for the easy two. Closing in on a minute remaining in the half. Oh, Wood. Count it and one for Christian Wood. Some analysts believe that as much as this is a hint for the front office to make the trades, it could also be veiled criticism of Jason Kidd and his management team. Now, I know Kidd probably deserves another year, especially after the miracles he worked in his first year with the franchise. But stats suggest that his record doesn't improve the longer he stays on. More importantly, there's no doubt that the Mavs didn't have the right personnel. However, the way they were coached on the defensive end remains a major issue. Maybe it's time to move on from Kidd. He's always going to be a legend for the franchise. Take it easy on 77. <laughs> oh, take it easy on him. Rebound. Got a rebound. Got the rebound. Talk. Got a rebound. Got to help rebound. Let's go. But right now, the Mavs need a solid coach, someone with winning credentials as well. It would be a smart move to part ways and look to appoint a big name coach, someone who can get the best out of Luka and the Mavericks. And it seems that the Mavs struggles on the pitch have alerted the NBA as well. There's an investigation set to take place into the tanking that everyone witnessed right at the end. I know tanking sounds horrible, but it's something that the NBA's hierarchy has accepted at some level. They know there's no way of dealing with it, especially with the current incentive structure in place. However, even then, tanking can't be too loud or too gauche. It would seem that the Mavericks didn't get the memo because of the way their last few games went. Even a first-time NBA spectator would say that they were throwing away the game. That's why it comes as no surprise to anyone that the NBA will be investigating the facts and circumstances surrounding the Mavericks roster decision and game conduct. Perhaps it was even funnier to see the way they performed in the clutch, becoming the first team ever to fail to hit even the rim on three three point attempts in the final 15 seconds. But the Mavericks made it way too obvious. There was absolutely no reason for Kid to come out and say before their game that the owner and the general manager had taken the decision to rest the whole rotation. You don't say that. But yeah, the Mavs are facing an inquiry and let's see what that leads to. That's all I have on why the Dallas Mavericks are in big trouble. Whatever changes you need to make at any level, I trust you you do it. And in fact, when I laid out my 100-day plan very early on, he didn't even want to see it.